guys and welcome to my channel today we're going to be making lemon pepper buffalo wings or buffalo lemon pepper however you want to say it um, what we have here in this bowl is three pounds of chicken it came frozen i just allowed it to defrost overnight and then from there i washed them in some salt water and vinegar and i kind of let it sit there for 10 minutes and then i rinsed it in hot water twice and then after that you want to go ahead and uh dry pat them dry uh with some paper towels that way it's not a whole bunch of liquid sitting at the bottom of the bowl what you want to do is just put a little bit of olive oil just enough to coat the wings you don't want too much because it's going to be frying it and the reason we're doing that is because we are going to add some seasoning on the wings but you want to let the seasoning uh stick to the wings so um just a little bit of olive oil whatever oil you have vegetable canola doesn't matter and then you just want to sprinkle some salt. Spill some salt. Just a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Again, you only need a little bit. Um, paprika. Again, some pepper. complete seasoning and some chicken flavor bouillon just a little bit actually because a little goes a long way some garlic powder and then from there my hands are clean I washed them already you want to wear gloves wear gloves but go ahead and mix it together seasoning into your wings you want to let it marinate I'm just gonna do about 30 minutes because I'm hungry and I need to eat right now but um the longer you marinate it obviously the better because the seasoning is gonna soak into your wings so if it's Saturday night and you're making these wings just go ahead and season them put them in the fridge and then you can cook them the next morning but I'm just gonna do about 20 to 30 minutes that way the seasoning penetrates it a little bit and then um, we'll come back and we'll get to cooking Okay guys, so the chicken has been marinating for about an hour now. I was gonna say, I was gonna do 30 minutes, but um, I got distracted. But anyways, you're gonna go ahead and put some oil in a pan. And um, let me see if it's hot. Everybody know if you wanna see if the oil is hot, you sprinkle some water. So it's not making any noise. So we're gonna wait a little bit. But our oil is hot. We're gonna go ahead and start frying our chicken. I like to do the drums first because they take longer. Again, you just want to cook it to get some color. And I like the color, so we're going to go ahead and check them out. And the wings. Now, these aren't going to take too long to cook because they're smaller than the drumsticks. Now 
now I'm going to go ahead and get these split. And we're just going to let those go until they're brown on the other side as well. So the chicken is brown on both sides, so we're going to go ahead and check them out. Alright, so now that the chicken wings are fried, we're going to go ahead and sauce them up. As I stated, we're making lemon pepper buffalo, or buffalo lemon pepper, however you want to say it. So I'm going to use Mrs. Dash. This is the one with no salt. Since we already seasoned the chicken before, you know, you don't want to have give people any salty food, so I like to use a salt-free one. I'll just sprinkle a good amount of that in there. I like lemon pepper. I don't know how much to tell y'all this is. Um, maybe a quarter of this bottle. Uh, a little bit more. And then, you want to get some buffalo sauce. I'm using this brand. So you can use any brand that you like. I like my wings saucy because I'm so I'm just gonna douse all of this in there. Okay, maybe not all of it. Uh looks like that's about two-thirds of the bottle. Because I like my food spicy, I'm going to put a dash of cayenne pepper. Literally just a dash. And then put the lid on. You just want to shake it. like when it's done tossing so now once I fry my wings I used to put them in the oven so they can be like fall off the bone tender so they'll be fine like this but I'm still gonna bake them in the oven just to finish them off and so get an aluminum pan and you just want to place your wings in the pan spread them out evenly and then just add the rest of the sauce over the wings Sauce. Make sure your wings are spread it out evenly. And then been in the oven for 30 minutes let's see what it looks like Ooh. so as you can see the wings are nice and juicy real saucy but yeah go ahead and plate them up and serve them to your friends and your family. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.